Greetings, Diocese of Los Angeles. It is a humbling honor to be on your slate for Bishop Coadjutor. As we get ready to go into this weekend of regional forums, I look forward to seeing old friends and hopefully making some new ones. For those of you who weren't able to be here, I thank you for joining us online. I would like to open with a prayer. Let us pray. God, grant that our hearts may be open to where you are calling the people of your diocese as we elect our next bishop. We pray that you give us wisdom in our listening. You grant us grace in sharing our hopes and dreams with one another. And most of all, that you grant us the power to continue to be your people who shine the light of your love in this Diocese of Los Angeles. Amen. One of the best opportunities in our diocese is also one of our greatest strengths our diversity, diversity of race, language, socioeconomic status, geographic location within our diocese, and that's just to name a few areas. I continue to be amazed how the many members of our diocese all work to share the love of Jesus in their unique communities. I believe that we have the opportunity, the duty indeed, to raise up leaders from within our diverse populations to support the ministries that already exist so that we can take them to the next level. For example, if we say that multicultural ministry matters, then we need to increase the spending beyond 0.1% plus the grants that they receive. In fact, we need to start funding what we think is most important. We have a wealth of resources in our diocese, ranging from knowledge, to skills, to spiritual practices, to outreach programs, and yes, money. We can be more transparent and better organized so that ministries are supported by these resources. The challenge for us will be discerning together the places where our resources are most needed and what our priorities are as a diocese. My top administrative priorities will be to engage in reconciliation on the one hand and on the other, begin a process of listening, envisioning with the people of our diocese about where and about how we feel God is calling us to serve those within our borders and beyond. Maybe that's migrant ministries or a new education process for ordination or engaging in homeless ministry programs from edge to edge of our diocese. As Bishop, I would want us to discern together what are our most significant needs and concerns. There are many choices, but the priority would be to work with the people, with all the voices from our diocese, to discern where we see ourselves becoming strong as the body of Christ. Thank you.